Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a Dollar Tree haul, and I'm also going to be showing you some more souvenirs that I got in Ireland. Now the reason those items were not in my Ireland souvenirs and snacks haul um, is because I actually left them in Ireland, and uh, my friends mailed them to me. So when we were doing the Ring of Kerry, we stopped at this one beach, little like a little beach town called Waterville, and um, there was a little souvenir shop. My best friend and I went in, and I picked up a couple of things, and we were staying in an Airbnb outside of Killarney, and I left my little bag of souvenirs there. So the host of the Airbnb was kind enough to send the items to my friends, and then my friends mailed them to me. So I'll show you those at the end. Um, I stopped at my two favorite Dollar Trees this evening. Um, just hoping to find some new items, but I didn't really find much new, but I picked up a few things regardless. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you, I don't know if they're new, um, but I thought they would be really cute with the new Jen Hadfield Stardust collection. So um, I got some of these little pouches. They say, oh my stars. This is the turquoise one, it has that like, gold foiling. Really, really cute. I got the purple one that says Stargazer. And the pink one that says Dream Chaser. I just thought these would be really cute if I make some um, embellishments or just package up something that I make with that collection. And I thought they were really pretty little pouches. So I got those. Um, they have some new ornaments out. And these, I believe, are new. I don't remember seeing these last year. There's a lot of glue strings and stuff. i got to clean it up a bit. But it looks like a wood slice. And it's got this little fabric-covered snowflake on it with some little twigs and berries. I thought this one was really cute. Again, I have to clean it up a, a bit, but I thought it was cute for a little ornament. And then I also got this one with the little deer in the tree. Again, the everything's covered in like a fabric. And the last one I got is this one here. I thought these were so cute. And I'm pretty sure those are newer ornaments. This one is not crafty related, but I bought these little interdental brushes. Um, now, honestly, the reason I bought these is to clean my shower head in my main bathroom. Um, I've seen online you can use these tiny little brushes. I'm going to open these up so you can see what I mean. And if you're looking for a way to clean your shower head properly, this is probably going to be a good tip for you as well. Um, so this, these are just these little teeny tiny brushes and they have like a tiny little bristle on them and you just stick this up into each hole of your shower head and it helps clear up any um, any like clogs or anything and it's a pack of four so I thought I could use them to clean my shower head and for $1.25 it's better than buying them like a Target or something so hopefully it works it seemed like it worked pretty well in the video I saw um, not that my shower heads clogged or anything but I think it's probably good to just clean it like once in a while so that um, like minerals and things don't build up and clog your shower head so Anyways, back to the haul. I picked up a, another roll of this burgundy colored snow tool. Um, I looked everywhere through my fall stash for my burgundy one from last year and I can't find it anywhere. So I just figured I'd pick up another one since I'm getting ready to start my fall crafting. Um, I picked up these really cute little fabric bags for Christmas. I'm pretty sure they had these out last year, but you get the little snowflake design on one. You get three bags. Um, this is the merry and bright one. And then also the little Christmas tree one. So I wanted um, I wanted to pick those up for Christmas packaging. Um, as I had, I had hauled some things similar to this a few months ago in regards to um, the little phone, the like antique phone that Christian does on her channel. She did it like a while ago. I'm gonna make one of those soon. But she uses these hair ties for the phone cord um and i so i found these and these say they're glow in the dark but i just thought the colors were pretty this like pinky color and this turquoise color um so i just bought these to have for that type of project as well so i have lots of these little spiral things now but that's okay i'll use them all right um they have some cute new signs out for christmas um i got this really cute little um uh, snowman one. He's got the little metal snowflake. It does have a tiny bit of glitter on it, but not too much. The the his little um, carrot nose is layered on there, and 
they could if they would have done like a layered metal um tree here it would be really cute it would have been elevated a little bit more i think but it is really cute so i got that one and i also got the little santa claus one his little hat is layered here on the rim and on his face so again a little bit of glitter but it's not too too oh and the berries are uh, glitter or uh, raised and layered as well so i thought those little signs were super cute um, I found this little tractor sign for, um, fall decor. I just thought this was really adorable. I like to throw stuff like this into, like, my bathroom or something just to add, like, a little bit of decor, but not, like, over the top. I just thought it was cute. <laughs> so, um, this I think might be new, and I still have yet to learn how to use my Cricut, but I would really like to do so, so I could utilize something like this. They came out with these really cool little, um, signs with the uh, beaded um, handle or the beaded um, hanging piece. I got two of the square and then I also got two round so they came off round ones as well and they're a nice size so you can do a little sign um, for someone or for your own decor. So I got those and the circle is slightly bigger than the square if you can tell in the, in the screen. Um, Last couple things I got. This is definitely not new. They come out with these every year with these super tiny little Christmas trees. I just wanted to pick up another pack to have on hand for Christmas projects. And then the last thing I got, again, I don't think these are new, but I don't remember seeing these in my store, which is the rainbow shaped bead box. Now, the beads are kind of cheap little plastic beads, but these little boxes are super cute for embellishment boxes. So it's just a, nice to have a different shape for your um, embellishment box. So I picked up a couple of those to have on hand in my um, like container stash. So um, that's all of my Dollar Tree stuff. The last thing I'm going to show you are those little souvenirs that I got in, um, in Ireland. Uh, like I said, we had stopped at a little place called Waterville. Uh, along the Ring of Kerry. I picked up some postcards. This one just says greetings from Dingle, which Dingle is in the southwestern part of Ireland. And as you can tell from the pictures, it's super cute. Cute little town. Beautiful views. It's it's just lovely there. So I got that postcard. I got this one, which just says Ring of Kerry in Ireland. Valentia Island and Lighthouse in Duluth Head. I, we didn't go there, but it is beautiful. And then this one just says Killarney, County, County Kerry, Ireland. So um, we did go to this castle here in the middle, which is Ross Castle. Uh, and it's funny enough that we went there and a friend of mine uh, messaged me on Facebook and asked me if we had stayed there. Apparently it's a bed and breakfast and it's supposed to be really haunted. <laughs> um, but we were there in the evening, so it was already closed. But we did get to walk around outside, but it was really cool. And then this castle, I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't say. And then just some other little scenic views. So I got those three postcards. I got a little pen that just has shamrocks all over it. And it just says Ireland. And it's got some like little gems in there. And then a little dangle shamrock. And then the last thing I got are these really cute little fairy door pencils. Now, I'm not going to use them. I'm just going to use them. And I'm going to put them in my like pen and pencil collection. Um, but I just thought these were super cute. So I got this one with just like a little blue door. And then the little green door, of course. Because you guys know green's my favorite color. And this says the Irish Fairy Door Company. So I'm guessing that they do other things as well. But the shop only had the little pencils. And they're super cute. So those are the last things I bought. But I did pick up this little um, magazine as well. It was free. And I just figured I could have it on hand for scrapbooking and just I thought it would be cool to read through it and learn a little bit more about like that area of Ireland so it's got some you know maps and things and if maybe eventually I'll do like a little junk journal or something this would be kind of cool to have so again I just I just bought it or I just got it for free and figured I'd you know throw it in with my souvenirs and she was kind enough to include this when she mailed me my souvenirs. So that's everything. Um, if anyone has any questions, please let me know. If you've not already, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.